Hello. All right, I'm here. Um, new setup, so new desk with all my crafty things. And um, uh, what else? And I've got a green screen behind me. I'm not sure if I love it yet, but it's all right. <laughs> and, um, all my stuff in front of me. Ooh, I'm dropping. And dropping gems over here all right so today I'm doing um, some wands so I started with some chopsticks and then I got some air dry clay and these are like cooking chopsticks so they're like 15 inches and then I got some air dry clay and the kids and I just went crazy and made a whole bunch of different like setups. So I'm excited to paint them and get that going. And then um, I also have uh, some glue gun, my glue gun. So that's gonna get us going as well to give us some, some interest in there. All right, so we're going to get started here. Okay, so my glue gun is all nice and ready. I'm going to go in and just add some more interest. I probably will add a little bit more um, hot glue around the, the gem up top because I'm noticing the ones that uh, my kids didn't push the gemstone in all the way did not actually um, stick. So we're gonna just add a little bit extra around there and just kind of play with um, texture. And then as soon as the glue dries, so I did the air dry clay ahead of time because I knew it needed to dry. And so I'm just going to go in and add some more texture and then once the glue dries I can um, go in and paint it. So kind of give it some more visually interesting looks. Um, we are doing a Harry Potter birthday for my n almost nine-year-old and she started watching um, or reading Harry Potter last year or this year is it just this year oh my gosh this year seems like forever and okay so I just kind of added some some glue to this we started listening to harry potter on our drive to school so it must have been last year because she was at my school with me so we listened to harry potter on the way that was maybe at the beginning of this year i don't know it doesn't really matter um but we were listening to it and she fell in love with the story so that was awesome Oops. So, um, for her birthday this year, she wanted to do a Harry Potter birthday, which is super fun. Um, so I'm actually going to take this one that keeps falling and just stick those back on with some hot glue. Because I know this belongs to one of my children and they're going to want <clears throat> this to, to look all right. Probably, oh, that one's okay. I'm gonna just kind of throw in some hot glue around the gem to make sure it sticks. I'll do the same over here. So originally my setup here was me standing and then like as I'm setting up, I realized that it's not gonna work for me at all. Um, I don't think I could do this standing up for however long and then also just the lights in my face which I realized doesn't work for me ever so pulled over my chair it's all good 
All right, so this one I'm gonna go in. Oh, see, every time I shake the table, I don't know if you can hear those things clanging down, but I'm gonna add some hot glue to this. I'm gonna turn on another light and see if that helps with the color here. I forgot to turn this one on. Let's see if that helps. You can see the there it is. That's a little better. A little a little brighter. Awesome. So fun. Okay. Where am I going? Now I'm gonna go. I want it to, to dry before I stick it in the thing, so I'm just gonna lay them there. Whoa. Sorry. Alright, let's grab this one. It also dropped some gems, so we're gonna go in and get all the ones that are gems are dropping out. Okay, so that one's pretty stable, squished in there. This one was not. Um, I also found these like silicone mats on Amazon for like crafty things, which I think is perfect because that was something I was worried about on my computer desk was not um, it's getting stuff on the desk, which this is great because I've got a cutting mat under it and then I've got the, the silicone mat that's pretty cool to keep me uh, from losing things. Um, I'm trying to think what I want to do with this one. The ones the kids made are a little, they're a little funny because <laughs> they're just like right there at the end. Um, they didn't bring it down very much. And I'm looking at this other one that we worked on and it's pretty crackly here. So I'm going to just fill in some of these holes. And if you didn't know, if you have a cup of water, and you dip some your finger in the water you can actually squish the hot glue without burning yourself so that's my favorite tip ever for hot glue it's fun. <clears throat> all right so now let's get into this guy and make it a little bit more interesting um some of the things i saw online were like making little round balls and circles on them so i'm gonna find my hot glue for a second there it's over here sorry get that all right i'm gonna keep it over here just so it's easier to access hello that adrian guy welcome in Okay, I'm making Harry Potter wands. Right now I'm using the glue gun to give it some more texture. Okay, do, do, do. there we go. So I've got three going. And I think this one is dry by now. So that's fun. All right, I have so many. I think we only invited like maybe 15 kids, um, but I wanted to have choices for the kids to, to choose from. So I made a whole bunch. I actually bought too many, um, too many chopsticks. So now I've got a bunch of big giant chopsticks that I'm not sure what to do with them, but I'm sure we can find some other fun craft to do. All right, so I'm gonna just kind of, it's hard with this camera in the way to get things where I need them to be. Okay, so I'm now going to lightly put those down so they don't crack all over the place. This one's pretty dry. So over in the corner here, I've got a um, mason jar that I'm just sticking them in. That way they're upright and not breaking. 
Okay, so now we've got over here. Okay, this one's kind of cool because we did just one gem on top and then some finger, like if you were to hold it. That's really cool. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this one and maybe do some like polka dots, some raised dots for this one, just kind of all over. Like we can see the coloring is kind of odd in here. I have the window open and the lights, but the lights on, but it's still just the coloring is not, not what I want it to be. And it might need one more bright light somewhere. Yeah, so we, for Harry Potter, we did the audiobooks. Um, a lot more fun for all of us because then it has the voices, which is pretty cool. Um, and we can listen to it in the car, which is helpful. Um, we have four children, so getting to, to like one one on one read with all of them is nearly impossible <laughs> um, we were really good with the first two like making sure that we were reading with them every night but with four and four different ages it's a lot harder to make sure we're getting all of them there so uh, the audiobooks are great because then, you know, depending on who's driving who in the morning, we can listen to books. And then also just, um, we would, when we were, I was brushing our hair, we would listen to it as well, which was great because I, you know, if you are actually reading, you can't really be doing anything else. So we were able to multitask, but still enjoy the story. And like I said, the audiobook has all the voices and it's just fun. And then, you know, if I'm not feeling well and my throat hurts, I'm not going to want to read. So that also made it nice and convenient for that aspect. So we actually did books one and two. Oh, I need to find some more gems. These ones totally fell off. <laughs> and I don't see them anywhere, so the kids may have taken off with them. But that's alright. Gives it some also some visual interest, so that's cool. But I should probably double secure these on there. Um, anyway, so we read books one and two. And then uh, we started, no, one, two, and three. So we read up to Prisoner of Azkaban, which is our favorite movie. Um, I don't know what my favorite book is. I've read all of them multiple times. Um, and I'm not sure what my favorite book is. But as far as the movies go, I definitely prefer Prisoner of Azkaban. It's a little more interesting than the rest. Um, especially the second one's not my favorite. Uh, Chamber of Secrets. I don't know. Just I don't know why. It's, it's hard to explain. And then I loved as a reader um, you know the final book. But as a movie, <laughs> the the two parts, the first part, not not uh, as entertaining because you know a lot is going on in the book at that point um, that you just can't convey in a movie. Um, so that's that. So, anyways, but. So we would read the book, then we'd 
watch the movie. Um, at her school, she has to take these stupid AR quizzes, like comprehension tests, which I'm a teacher, and I never saw the value in those tests because they were all vocabulary and, like, recall. It was never, like, I don't know, deeper learning. It was just, did you read the book? Like, it, it was just, I don't know. It didn't give me any information on the student at all. It was, did you read the book or not? And can you remember stupid details? Like, what color was, you know, the cat's tail? Uh, so, it's not, those aren't my favorite. But anyway, so she would do that. We'd watch the movie, and she'd take the test, and that was great. And then um, we finished book three, and then, so... I don't want to do spoilers for anybody, but it starts to get darker and there's a lot more death and destruction um, as the books progress. Um, and it's great for older readers. And I loved it. I mean, I didn't start the Harry Potter series until... Oh, hi there, Dinesh. Uh, welcome in. So glad you're here. Um, making Harry Potter wands right now. And yeah, I was just kind of talking about my Harry Potter journey um, with loving the books. And But I started after college reading uh, the books, which I loved. So uh, these, anyways, going back to the wands, I used chopsticks. So, um, what are they? They're f like 15 inch chopsticks that I ordered on Amazon. And then some air dry clay that we put on the other day, some like flat bottom jewels. And now I'm using hot glue to give it some more interest. Um, and then I'll go in with some paint, some acrylic paint, and make them look like wood. So, I'm excited. We're doing this for my daughter's birthday. Um, and so she's been a big fan of Harry Potter. But as I was saying, the, the books get pretty dark. And for, you know, a nine-year-old, some of those concepts are a little, a little much. So we kind of stopped for a little while. So we stopped at book three with her. And we'll probably pick it up a little later when we can have those conversations about death and whatnot. I don't know. This one is heavy. It does not want to stay up. <laughs> Ooh. All right. So this one's kind of fun. We did a little ball looking top and then kind of twirled it around. Well, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Um, my plan is to make crafts online on on stream. So if you want to come back and join me, um, are you a Harry Potter fan as well? No. Um, we were my um, older daughter. She got into Harry Potter probably about the same time, like third grade, fourth grade. Was it? it must have been fourth, third grade. She started reading the books, and then um, we ended up going to Universal Studios and got to see the Harry Potter land, and I took her and her best friend, and we did a whole like weekend trip there and got to go on all the rides and we did the full like harry potter experience so we got wands and all that fun stuff that was definitely an adventure um i'd like to do that with our daughter who's currently into harry potter and just getting over to universal studios is a bit pricey so we'll probably wait a little bit longer on that one because we just took a major trip so I'm going to save up some more money there. All right. So that one, I'm going to just rest over there. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I, I have so many of these. 
<laughs> we made so many. Um, my plan too is to make like little wand boxes, like Ollivander style from the movie, like the little black boxes. So I'll probably do that on stream um, next week. And um, then the kids will get to kind of pick a box like randomly and then that'll be their wand for the party. Uh, I have a plan to do a whole uh, Quidditch type um, game. So we're gonna go buy some PVC pipe. I bought some like hula hoop, I don't know, it's like a construct your own hula hoop thing from Amazon. So hopefully that's okay. I was just gonna go to the dollar store, but this was seemed like it would be helpful for what I was going for. And so we'll do a whole Quidditch thing and I'll probably post that on Instagram or um, or TikTok when we when I make those I think it's too big to stream on um, in my little area here. All right. Okay. Now let's see what's next. So I did those. Ooh, I like this one. This one's kind of fun. Um, it's got some like, I don't know, parts that stick out a little bit more interesting. And I, I don't know, it's kind of interesting to give it a different, a different feel. We'll see how I do when I, when I paint these. Um, I'm probably still going in with hot glue anyways, cause I can see some cracks and whatnot in the wands. So just um, smoothing those cracks out to make sure that nothing falls off when the kids are actually like playing with them. Um, that's my plan with this hot glue. Um, for those of you who are, weren't here a little while ago, uh, a super tip for hot glue is stick your finger in some water and you can not burn yourself. It's my favorite thing I've ever learned with hot glue. It has helped me so much. Okay, so like right here is kind of a weird area. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just going in and just kind of smoothing out that area. So that when I go in to paint it, it'll stay in as one one kind of solid piece. Although I'm looking at these hot glue little little fringes, and I'm not sure how that's going to paint. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. Okay. All right. So that's, that one's really fun. I like that one a lot. All right, I'm gonna move these and then grab some more. So again, off stream I have these, or off camera I should say, I have some mason jars that I'm just kind of sticking them in. It's how they we had them dry for the air dry clay part to make sure that everything dried nicely, but a lot of, um, of the jewels did come off. Um, but I did find this one kind of hidden away so I'm gonna stick that back on here um, okay awesome and for those of you who are in here just hanging out I really appreciate you being here um, if you're interested in seeing me make some more crafty things go ahead and follow me and I and let you know when I'm um, crafting again. Uh, I will probably be on Monday night making the wand boxes and then uh, we're gonna make some owls. So we're gonna make some pom-pom owls. Uh, I've never made pom-poms before <laughs> so but I bought a little kit so I'm, I'm kind of excited to try it out. I love little pom-poms. Uh, super fun and I so for the birthday party I, you know, you go on Pinterest and you see all of the cool things that people do 
And one thing was like the kids get to pick um, their own owl, which, you know, well, if you're a Harry Potter fan, that's a huge deal is to get your owl or your your animal, right? Um, and I, it was just so cute. And they had the lady bought Beanie Baby owls, the little T.Y. Beanie Baby owls for people. And they were just so cute. But um, they're like 13 to $15 a piece. And I just, <laughs> when you got like, what, 15 kids coming, that that's a bit much to spend when I'm already spending on all the other stuff so um we're gonna make pom-pom owls because I figure I can make it and it's fun and it'll be something fun for me to to stream as well so we're gonna make some pom-pom owls sometime next week um that actually might be a little bit later um next weekend is a busy weekend for us our youngest is doing her ballet recital so we won't I won't be streaming next weekend and then my cousin's birthday party or daughter's birthday party I don't know all the things it's just a busy weekend so um that won't be happening but um uh, Monday night for sure I'm gonna be making um the Ollivander wand boxes I found a a thing on how to do that I do need to go buy some more poster or not yeah no I bought some black poster boards so that's what I'm doing that way okay so what I'm doing right now is just the hot glue piece on so I have the air dry clay on a 15 inch chopstick and giving it some interest some textural interest and then I'll go in with some acrylic paint and pick them up. All right. But it's hard because I don't want to put them in the mason jar yet because the hot glue will will um, stick to the <laughs> stick to the jar. All right. So let's see. Here we go. This one's kind of fun. I tried to make it. I don't know. I tried to make it snake like, but the head didn't work out so it's just kind of this weird lump of <laughs> this weird lump around but it did keep the jewel in so that's good okay there we go Doo -doo. okay all right there we go yeah, so this one's actually already pretty cool because it's got a lot of textural. I just wanted to make secure that gem in there, but I think that one's pretty good. I can just paint that one. It's more of these that are just pretty plain, but I want to add some extra little flair to them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So I want to get over to, I'm going to Universal with my older daughter for her Girl Scout troop. That's going to be their trip. We're doing Universal and then we're doing like Hollywood and some like man's, what is it, Grauman's Chinese Theater. We'll do that. And then they potentially want to do the um the wax museum which is funny because i don't think i've ever done the wax museum and adrian if you're still out there you can remember <laughs> be like no we did it um but i don't remember ever actually going into the wax museum it's highly possible we have at one point in our lives but i don't remember ever going in um so that's on the list um these girls have been a troop my daughter hasn't been in the troop since kindergarten, but the troop itself has been a troop since the girls were in kindergarten. And they've done cookies every year, so they have quite a bit of money to spend. And they're all in what, like eighth grade, going to high school next year. And they're starting to be done. They're starting to be done. So the girls are 
kind of like my our daughter is just done. She doesn't want to do it anymore. The her friend that was in it, the reason she joined was, and then she left last year. So she's kind of over it. Um, we stayed in it mainly because the troop leader needed a co-leader to keep the troop going. Um, so I basically I'm I'm troop leader on paper. Um, I don't do much, but that's okay. Um, she does it all and she's okay with that. Um, we only have like five, five girls and they're all in eighth grade. So they're, they are pretty good. Um, but I think they're all pretty much done. So she, for next year, her and her daughter are going to join a different group. Um, so that they can keep going but we're gonna be we're gonna be done um with our eighth the eighth the because she's going into high school next year and i think she's just over it um oh hi matt cat welcome in thank you these are our, our harry potter ones um we're having a nine nine year old birthday party with a bunch of um, third graders coming over. We're going to do some Harry Potter. Um, I have wands ready for them. I'm going to make a whole Quidditch, um, game. I found it online where they have, oh, what is it? So, hoops, we're going to make the hoops out of like, um, was it hula hoops and PVC pipe? So we got to go this weekend buy PVC pipe. But, and then you use like a round like dodgeball for the quaffle. So to score. And then I have to go to like Walmart or Target and get one of those huge bouncy balls. Because that is a, the bludger. So I guess you can throw them at people. <laughs> and then everyone needs like, I'm going to go get pool noodles. And those are going to be there. Uh, broomsticks so that's the that's the game and it looked super fun I also learned recently I did not know this I don't know if those of you out there knew this but college teams actually or college certain colleges actually have quidditch teams <laughs> like they full-on play in college and I had no idea that was a thing so I'm gonna have to um, someone told me that yesterday, and I <laughs> had no idea, so, but, yeah, so, if you want to come play, Nat, <laughs> we're doing it, um, the Sunday after Claire's birthday, so the 29th, but, um, yeah, I had no idea that, that college age students were playing Quidditch, <laughs> yeah, I, and I think, I'm not sure. I, I mean, we're we're near UCI, so I think they were talking about UCI, um, but I don't know. Like that's, it's just insane. I think that's so cool. But <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna make a whole Quidditch game. I only have the like, I only set the party for like two hours, so <laughs> making it try super easy. Like basically, it's gonna be eat food and. Play Quidditch. <laughs> so hopefully they like it. Um, if not, I think I can bring it to my school and we can use it for PE. <laughs> um, I haven't decided though for the PVC pipe because I've seen it two different ways. I've seen people use like, like I don't know, wooden stakes or something and then they uh, keep the the rings just kind of staked into the ground and then I've also seen it with like stands so like PVC pipe type bottom stands and that's kind of cool because then you could play on you know not grass so I haven't decided which direction we're going Probably the grass one because I think it's a little easier. But we'll see. We'll see. My gosh, these use up so much, so much hot glue. 
And I haven't even done that much, but this is like my third or fourth hot glue switcheroo. Um, yeah. So I have a funny story. Um, I don't even think I told Adrian this yesterday, but I may, I don't, I don't remember who did. But yesterday we were getting ready to leave work. Um, and one of the teachers came by and we were all talking and she came by and she'll, and she was like, you'll never believe what happened. So I guess she was like, I, I was getting ready. I got everything ready to go. I you know, grabbed my stuff, turned off the lights, walked outside, locked the door. And then she said she looked down and there was a backpack there, which is kind of weird because we don't usually have kids who, you know, leave their backpacks. Um, and she's kind of like looking at it like, whose backpack is this? And then all of a sudden, like, she hears her door open because, you know, when you lock from the outside, it's it still is unlocked from the inside so they could get out. But <laughs> there's a kid popped out and they were like, and she was like, where did you come from? And he had like marks on his face from like sleeping marks. Um, and he, yeah, he was totally asleep. He said he fell asleep under his desk and she did not know that he was under his desk <laughs> and was totally going to leave him. But like, oh my gosh, could you imagine being that kid where <laughs> you fall asleep and then wake up and it's dark and she's in a portable. So there's no like natural light, like especially if her blinds are closed, there's no natural light. And I just, we were just dying laughing. Like, how did you not know there was a kid sleeping under your de his desk? But also, like, what, why? Why is that kid sleeping under the desk? So, just, that was, that was an entertaining, um, this poor teacher, she, I don't know what it is, but she has the weirdest things happen to her. Um, she had another kid where, so she's in the portable and our copy machines inside the building. And to get in the building, you have to use your key tag. And so she needed her copies. She needed her, she forgot to pick them up out of the printer. So she's like, hey, can who's done with their stuff? Can you go get this? And so she picks a kid and he goes and she gives him her key card to get into the building. It was like, it's by the copy machine, like go grab it. And so he goes, and then she said he's gone for a while, and then he comes back, and he comes back without any papers. And um, she's thinking, oh, he probably couldn't find it. I'm going to have to go over there later myself. And what happened was, the, and I guess she said the kid looked, like, pale and scared. And she said that he thought because teachers sometimes have to scan their key card to like turn on the machine, that he needed to do that to pick up the papers, but he didn't know where to do it. So he put her key card with her ID into the shredder that's next to the printer and full on shredded her ID and key card. And she, um, she texted our group text and told us this and we're just just dying laughing and then um somebody else was like oh do you think he just like stole the key card and is playing a prank on you and one of the teachers who was in uh he just happened to be in the workroom at the time and he responds with <laughs> um can confirm and he takes a picture and there's her just ID just shredded to bits. It's, oh my gosh. And then we're like, who did this? Which kid did this? Um, and then she said his name and she's like, I thought he was responsible or responsible-ish. <laughs> and then um, we saw who it was. And all there we were like three of us who has have this kid as well. And we're like, no, I would never have sent that kid. <laughs> Never in a million years would I consider that kid responsible-ish. Um, but yeah, so this poor teacher, like her school year has been so strange. Like so many strange things happening to her. Um, but yeah, so those are so silly. So silly. Okay. 
All right. These are looking interesting. Like, I think when I paint them, they're going to be pretty cool. Um, this one, too, had a gem, gem at the bottom. It's kind of hard to see. Um, yeah. Oh, man. I only have four more, so that's cool. And then I can start painting. So I have another. Oh, no, I already did these. Look at that. Awesome. So I can actually now start getting ready to paint. So we'll see. I haven't really painted in a long time. Oh, I've got one more. I've got one more. This one, I think it was supposed to have a gem right there, but it fell off. But I kind of like it like this because it's like a nice thumb, thumb spot. All right. But this is pretty rough right here, so I'm going to... I'm gonna smooth that out with some hot glue here. Hopefully, like I'm, you know, a little thumb bed, yes. <laughs> um, hopefully it, I've never painted over hot glue. I mean, this is what all the online instructions say to use is hot glue, so I'm doing it, but I've never actually painted on hot glue before, so. Hopefully it turns out okay. Like the clay, I'm not so worried about because, you know, I paint clay all the time. But, yeah. But I do like that little thumb, little thumb bed. Okay, maybe we'll do some balls. Some big globs of hot glue here. So Nat Cat, are you gonna stream? I saw in the what was it, Cures Discord, everyone's wondering <laughs> if you're gonna be streaming soon. That made me laugh um, going through all of those. Um, but I know life is a little crazy and busy, especially when you're working full time, like to find to find the time like I'm doing it because I'm kind of getting ready for summer like I want to do it more in the summer <laughs> you feeling the pressure and the love yes <laughs> definitely a lot of love a lot of love which is awesome um but yeah I like my plan Peter and I were talking like I want to do more of this in the summer so I'm kind of gearing up and doing all my practice runs now before I do it more often um trying different like um setups so right now i bought a desk from ikea um we kind of rearranged it's not perfect by any means um i'm not sure if i'm loving the green screen effect or not actually as soon as i sat down i was actually okay with it it was when i was standing up i did not did not love this like the green screen, also the coloring super weird. Adrian thinks it could be because I'm on a Mac and not a PC, which is kind of a bummer because um, I don't really want to buy another computer and I don't want to share computers with Adrian. One, because then we have to like move things around and two, um, his computer crashes on him while he streams, so that's no fun. <laughs> So I don't know, um, but my plan is over the summer because I will have more time to do more things. Um, and then I also am, am working on like trying to build up my TikTok stuff. So like taking the stuff that I'm doing and then making it into, you know, TikTok and Reels uh, for social media. But Oh my gosh, I just made, I found this teacher who makes earrings. I'll have to go grab one after I do this one. Um, but she does them out of Shrinky Dinks. I don't know if you guys remember Shrinky Dinks from when you were a kid, um, where you like basically draw on plastic and then you put it in the oven and it shrinks to be like a charm or whatnot. So anyways, she makes these earrings that are like all the like book characters and all sorts of random things like she had coffee like starbucks coffee cups and 
super fun things. And I was like, oh man, I must make those. <laughs> and so I found Amazon has printable shrink eating. So I was able to take my artwork and then um, print print it on there and then um, shrink it up and turn it into earrings. So let me grab them, they're over here. And they turn out so cute, I love them so much. So I don't know if you can see, let's see if I can zoom in without messing everything up. Almost. So they're little earrings with tigers. Our, our mascot is a, a tiger. Let's see if I can hold it like that. And Oh, I love them so much. Yeah, they were the that I posted on Instagram, and I <laughs> just love them so much. Um, I made some for a couple teachers and my vice principal. So, so fun. But, like, just, like, straight up Shrinky Dink. Like, I printed my drawing on Shrinky Dink, and then that was that. It was so cool. Um, so I'm making – I have – uh, Claire likes axolotls, so I had um, made this summer, or Christmas, I made her her own wrapping paper, so I took kind of that axolotl, like, base of the image, and then I'm going to make her some earrings, because I just noticed that because of soccer, she had to take her earrings out, so she doesn't have earrings in right now, so I was like, oh, perfect, I'll make her some earrings, um... I made some Miss Frizzle earrings for my coworker who teaches science. So that one's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I love it. All right. So now that these are ready to go, I'm going to let these. Oh, this one's still a little wonky. So I'm going to let that one dry a little bit more. Grab these. Stick them over here. Okay, now we're going to start painting. All right. Hopefully, don't make too much of a mess. <laughs> uh, I am going to unplug the hot glue gun. Get some painting going. I probably won't paint all of these on stream. I'll probably just paint a few of them. Oh, yay, you can get your hair done. Awesome. That always feels so good. Just taking time. Oh my gosh, so long. Yes, go enjoy that. Um, so <laughs> enjoy having someone touch your hair and do all the things. I love... Um, I love the hair washing part. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite things. Except when I do color, is a little rougher because she doesn't go so cold. <laughs> or she doesn't go so warm. It's like cold water because she doesn't want to like ruin the <laughs> the um, the color. But just the massage. Oh my gosh. It's the best. Adrian, do you get your hair washed when you go get your hair cut? Or does she just like spray it? I love, I love that part. And then my, um, my hairstylist is super, super fun to talk to. Yes, but have fun. I think uh, your brother's coming up next Friday. Adrian and him are like planning a possible get together. I think. You should call him. Be like, what the hell. <laughs> <laughs> He's a dum dum. <laughs> That's funny. They're heading down to San Diego. Oh dear. <laughs> Maybe. Well, Aaron thought it was this weekend. Like he thought it was yesterday. So he was all excited to like hang out yesterday, and then that didn't happen. Out. <laughs> not of a sound mind there apparently <laughs> we'll figure it out we'll figure it out. and if not if you want to hang out 
we can we can make that work <laughs> all right well have a great time getting your hair done i can't wait to see um are you color coloring or are you just doing um cut and and just style okay. i forgot i bought gold <laughs> Or silver whatever that color is so I'm using let's see this is milk chocolate and dark chocolate nice awesome we'll see I actually probably want to go back to a darker purple too I tried this pink it's hard to see here because it's the coloring is all wrong but it went so pink and it was so much pink um, but I want to go back purple but have fun I can't wait to see pictures all right let's paint some walls let's see this is feeling done okay. Doo -doo -doo. all right let's go in I'm gonna start with one of these harder ones with the all of the the gems on there um, again those of you who are hanging out um, watching i really appreciate you being here um i know it's kind of fun to have someone just kind of in the background and i hope that you're enjoying the content and watching me make some wands um feel free to follow and then you can check me out have me on in the background later um i'm gonna stream probably monday for sure and then maybe um Wednesday I think my plan was Monday and Wednesday because I need to get I need to get all this stuff done so we got to get some wand boxes going we need to get some pom-pom owls going so if you want to come hang out with me again I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be on um, I got um, well I have four kids and they're all kind of hanging out um but no we have to get our windshield repaired today because i got hit with a rock on the freeway so that was just a huge bummer and it was okay and then the next day it was like 95 degrees outside and so then of course it spread so now we got to get it totally repaired and it's just a bummer all right i'm gonna zoom in see if that helps coloring I don't know maybe or I mess things up <laughs> still trying to figure out my setup here I feel like I need another light source right here onto here but still learning still learning okay it's crazy because there's so many like on Etsy like you can go in and um, buy oh yeah we have we have links uh, thanks Adrian uh, if you're interested in checking out any of my social media or any of um, my artwork on other platforms Adrian posted the link there um, I've got uh, I sell surface patterns so fabric type things on um, let's see spoon flower I've got art up on Etsy that you can purchase like downloadable um, stickers and whatnot I have uh, if you happen to be a teacher, I've got stuff on Teachers Pay Teachers. And right now I've got like end of the year stickers. So if you do have kids, I do have like fun end of the year stickers. The like level, there's like level up um, to the next grade and then hello to the next grade level. So I've got those on there. Um, and what else? You can check out my Instagram, TikTok, all the places that you can find me 
Okay. This one's a tricky one with <laughs> the gems. And yeah, so I, the one thing I was worried about uh, painting over hot glue was the color. And I'm already noticing, like, it's definitely a different, like, I don't know if you can see that. It's a little different, um, but it's okay. I like, so what I was saying was Etsy, people sell these like straight up. You can buy someone's, you know, wand. I don't know um, that I would sell these. <laughs> if you're interested, I can sell them, but um, I'm making these for a party, so they're going to be good but I guess if you're not someone who like wants to spend the time to make them then buying them pre-done and then the nice thing is they're handmade and they're not just plastic Amazon which is kind of makes it a little special um, I did see this one lady who hand carved them so like out of like dowels those were beautiful and then she stained them so I am not super adept in woodworking, so that was not something I was going to try, but um, they were beautiful. So if you wanted a hand-carved um, wand, go check out Etsy because they, they were beautiful. Okay, I think I need to... going with a little detail here. Oop, is that getting weird? There we go. I think with me zoomed in, it doesn't focus as well. Maybe I'll zoom back out. Ooh, wrong way, wrong way. Let's see if it stays focused that way. Sorry about that. Just kill your eyes there. Okay. Yeah, this is a little challenging around, not going to lie, around the uh, the gems, especially on the, the hot glue. It gives it a different texture, different look. Um, but again, these are for a nine-year-old birthday party, so I am not making these to sell them. So it is good enough. Um, and sometimes it's just the process, right? The, the process of making something that makes it so worth it. Just Okay, and then the challenge will come. I guess I have to do these in like stations, right? Because I can't, <laughs> I can't paint the whole thing because my hands will get all dirty, so. I think I will just do the tops, just like I did with the air dry clay, kind of do the tops for each section and then go in. I might even then go in with the other colors after the first layer dries. I might have to go back over the hot glue areas multiple times because they are a little see-through. Okay. I mean, looks like a really gross chocolate bar. <laughs> Maybe a special, uh, special surprise in the toilet as well. All right. That one's weird. <laughs> I don't even know where to put it. Uh, okay. Because uh, I don't want to like throw it into the mason jar and then have everything be all weird, but. We're just going to go for it. It's going to go into the mason jar. So, there we go. Alright, so this one seems a little easier because there's no gems on it. So I'm just going to go in. But definitely the difference with the hot glue and the clay for sure. So areas where I thought was just going to be a seamless transition might be a little different although that's 
not too bad. If I go over with a couple coats, we can do this. It looks like a chocolate covered pretzel. Well, then that's better than, than something else. Um, yum. Chocolate. We need to, I need to, so I keep <laughs> with some, <laughs> with some gems. Yeah. Maybe sprinkles, right? Um, so chocolate covered pretzels, I keep going to Trader Joe's and buying chocolate covered pretzels and then I don't come home immediately after purchasing them and then they sit in the car and it's been so hot lately that they melt and then we come home and there's just like a puddle of chocolate with some some pretzel mixed in there um but Adrian says it's fine you just break it up and it'll taste good but I don't know I think melted chocolate and then reformed chocolate does not taste good but that's just me okay. all right I mean it is it's kind of neat it's I think with the the um, hot glue in there it because it doesn't exactly color up the same way it kind of gives it a little bit of a wood a wood like feeling where there's different grains to it but i will go in with the other colors after this first first coat dries all right all right so, not bad. Okay, let's stick that back into oh, to dry. Um, I think I'm going to move these. Sorry for my big hand in the way there. Woohoo! Okay, that way I'm not hitting the light every time I want to put it down. <laughs> ah! Okay, let's do another one with some gems on it. Some chocolate logs. Okay, I think this one. I gotta do the big parts and then the little parts. Okay. Do do. All right. <laughs> Doesn't it taste fine? Yeah, but it's not, I don't know. Yes, but it's not the same kind of melt. So when you when you melt chocolate and then you reheat it, you're you're only melting it to a certain certain temperature. So like you don't you don't over melt it. Have you ever seen chocolate that's like chalky looking, like um, like white chalky looking on top of it? That means it was over melted, and then it it has a weird texture and flavor to it. So, yes, chocolate fondue, but that also is mixed with other things and then the temperature wise. So, like when we make, you know, cake pops, that's white chocolate. And white chocolate's different than milk chocolate or dark chocolate because white chocolate actually doesn't, um, it doesn't have any cocoa beans in it. So, it's not actually chocolate. Like, I think it's classified as chocolate, but I don't think it's actual chocolate. I think it's something else, like, um, because one of the teachers at work, she was saying that she's allergic to chocolate, like it just messes with her, but she can have white chocolate, no problem. So I don't know what it is, but, but definitely when something is overheated, Chocolate wise, it gets chocolate, chalky and gross. Which I have done before when melting chocolate. <laughs> and it's not, not a good look for chocolate. Okay, I think I need to start using the other 
color as well, just to mix it up. But I'm giving it all like a base, a dark brown base, and then I can play, um, play with it from there. Chalky Chaco, yes, Chalky Chaco. <laughs> that you knew that'll be a a new treat chalky choco need some chocolate chalk okay. ah. so here's the problem in this mason jar you guys can't see but it is plopping all over the place okay um I love the ideas of the gems, but yeah, painting, <laughs> painting around the gems is not fun. Not fun at all. All right. Um, I'm going to probably go back to the other one and see if I can get in some more detail. And then we'll probably end, end stream in a few minutes. Um, we got to get ready for some some other stuff today but I really do appreciate those of you who came to hang out um, have me in the background I really do appreciate you being here again please feel free to follow so you can hang out with me again check me out on Instagram or TikTok I'm hoping I don't post too much right now but um, ripped for wizard pleasure. <laughs> Wand handles are very phallic. Oh my goodness. Like literally. <laughs> yes, this one very much so. <laughs> Although I still with this coloring just does not look very pretty. Once I go in with some more details, hopefully it won't be so ugly. Oh man. Yeah. Science teacher at our school is in the health unit right now. And she's got she had to teach anatomy this week. And she's it's funny because, you know, Everyone always laughs at the word penis, always, <laughs> no matter what, right? And it's like, I don't know that that ever goes away. Like, does that ever go away? Laughing at the word penis. I guess it goes away if you're like a doctor and that's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go back to some of the original, see if they're somewhat dry, and go in with some of the other colors before I end stream here. So we get some different looks to it. So go in, kind of try to make it a little bit realistic, so it's not just one chocolate log here. Give it a little bit. I still need to flip this one upside down too, but I'll probably do that in a minute. I'll go in with some gold. Well, maybe I'll just gold around the the gems like they're set in there. 
I think that's the fun thing about these wands is each one is like completely different and then it'll be fun. So when the kids pull out their, they get to choose their Ollivander wand box um, and then they'll each be different, which I think is super cool. I do need to, to think of like every wand in the Harry Potter universe has like a different um, type of wood and then a different like animal feather or fur or skin or something in there like dragon skin or tail feather from the phoenix whatnot so I gotta think of what each wand has to put on the box so I'm kind of excited for that like just the creativity of it of picking what each wand we can look at the wands I'll have the the girls help me kind of look at the wands and be like yeah this one has you know dragon scales inside and this one has we'll have to look at all the like myth mythical creatures um and pick what we want okay it's certainly not perfect <laughs> by any means but it's a little bit interesting kind of gives it like it looks like it was set in a gold what is this this is just called metallic uh champagne gold is what i'm using champagne gold oh i had a student he was trying to draw a trumpet this week and of course you know drawing metallic with chalk pastel is not an easy task you know painting trying to replicate me metallic colors in any painting form is a is not e an easy task like it takes some definite skill and the poor guy he just hated it so much and he already had like a low self self-esteem as far as his artwork goes um I always tell my students that art is a skill not a talent like you have to actually practice if you want to get better um and each each kid comes to me and with a different skill level like some kids are you know their extent of their art training is stick figures right they decided in fourth grade that they weren't good at art so then they stopped stopped doing it and so they come to me in, you know, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, and they think they can't do it when it just takes practice. And so he actually ended up crumpling up his paper um, at the end of class. And it just broke my heart because it was actually really good. Like, it was really a good, he did a good job for being like a little sixth grader who never does art. So... And I told him that multiple times, but because his, you know, personal self-worth was not very strong, um, he crumpled it and it was really sad. So I called, I called our school counselor to come and talk to him. And I guess there were some other things going on. So she had <clears throat> said it was a good thing that, you know, I called her over because there was, there was more than just his artwork not looking right going on so it was just sad these kids have so many so many things right now that they're dealing with all right I really like the way that that turned out um I kind of want to throw in like just some lines of gold here maybe where it's um the glue I'll give it a line of gold there just to make it a little bit more interesting. Some more milk chocolate in there. Okay, I'm actually don't hate it. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of my first one. It's a little hard to see with the lighting, but it looks like a piece of wood. So, pretty cool. I am super happy with that. Alright, I've got three more that I painted on stream that I'm going to keep going with. 
and then I'll be done probably by one o'clock here if not sooner but I just want to see what I can get done here go in get some yeah I feel like I need one more light on this side I think it just you can't really see the colors and it's not my camera because up here I'm using the DSLR so I know it's not camera related I think it's lighting I think it's lighting lighting is so hard just in all aspects you know making sure it makes such a huge difference in what you're doing what you're showing what you're seeing uh, I need to get better at like when these are done like pulling out my light box and doing um, photos for Instagram with the light box so it's not um, so dark because I definitely noticed there was one I did our like macrame rainbow but because the lighting was so dark it just doesn't pop as much as it should Trying to get in there, the the champagne gold streaks, give it some interest, it's shiny. Kind of wonder. Okay. All right, that one's not too bad. And like I said, I'm probably going to go back and then once they're dry, I got to flip them and do the other side. Okay. Here's this one. And I probably will do the same where it's the gold outlining the gemstone like it's set in there. all right I also need to figure out like so because I'm on a Mac I can't play music um, and have my stream going at the same time like it's weird <laughs> it messes with the the volume of the stream um, so I need to figure out how to do that Again, I don't really want to switch or have to share the PC with Adrian. It feels like too much work. <laughs> but I don't I also don't want to purchase a PC for this. I know OBS does take a lot of just takes a lot from the computer so we can't I don't even think we can use one of the old the old computers we have lying around because it just probably would just not work on them but I did find something online that was like streaming for Mac and I don't know I should check it out give it a try I should give it a try that might solve those problems that I was having with the sound um, and maybe even solve the problem with the coloring like this coloring on the webcam is not not my favorite um, which is annoying because last night or was it last night the other night I don't think I did anything last night it was the night before when I set it all up but it was nighttime so then the lighting in the room itself is different and it just changed things. So. Okay. 
that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, and I want to put up, go in on these little um, glue gun spots. Go in with the gold as well, I think, on this one. I do really like how these turned out. I think um, I wasn't sure what they were gonna look like, especially with the you know the clay, um, but I think they turned out pretty cool. And then I'll have to paint the rest off the stream, and then I can post them. I'll pull out my light box, take some nice pictures, um, post them on Instagram. And then, oh. okay. So if you do want to see all of them and how they turned out, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Um, I will hopefully post them there sometime this weekend. If, once I finish them all, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice here. All right. Okay. Oh, I kind of messed up this one. <laughs> I, got, I got some gold back there. Okay. I'm going to go in with the, the milk chocolate now. We add up here to this area some milk chocolate. Okay. Awesome. All right. So now I have one more, and then we'll probably raid out here soon. I gotta see who's online. Yeah, it's really interesting, um, the hot glue. It definitely needs a couple coats to not be transparent. Um, but it does look pretty cool. I'll probably go in. I do like the gold, like, on the raised items. Or even around the raised items. It looks really neat. Or just in between. In between. Make it a little sparkly. There we go. Do I want to do the gold around these ones? I don't think so. I think these ones are going to stay <clears throat> without the golds there. Okay. So, whoops. Forgot I have wet paint on my hands now. All right. Uh, this one was made by, I think, one of my, by my four-year-olds. Because it's definitely just kind of concentrated up top. <laughs> And then jewels stuck in. Um, but it's looking good. Okay, 
I'm going to go ahead and see who's online and see where we can raid out to. Okay, let's see. Go. Let's see. And those of you who are um, just kind of in the background, if you have someone that you want to raid into, let me know. I'm happy to head their way. And let's see. Um, it doesn't look like anyone that I'm used to. Um, anyone I'm following is online right now, so. Let's all right, let's head over to Atomic Stacy, maybe. She is um looks like she's knitting with a uh charity stream. So let's head over that way. All right, so thank you so much for um, hanging out and make sure you follow me on Instagram and so you can see all um, the finished product for the ones and hopefully you are interested enough to come back um, when I stream for the wand boxes. All right, bye-bye. Or wait, not yet. Hold on. I've got to do this. <laughs> I've got to, I've got to raid out first. All right, let's see. Atomic Stacy. All right, there we go.